<laughs> That's me and Nick Juhas from the Science Factory. Today, we're doing some auditory experiments involving helium and sulfur hexafluoride, also known as SF6, or as me and my friends like to call it, anti-helium. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, are you kidding? <laughs> oh. I know, it doesn't feel real. Like, it feels like a filter. Like, I'm just doing a filter all of a sudden. But this is my real voice. So say something so that they know. Like, Hello? Talk, so we can talk over each other. Oh my god! Yeah, see? Okay, yeah, like, it wasn't, like, fancy editing or anything like that. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's pretty wild. And you want to make sure to continue to read that. Like, you can, you can kind of hear my voice coming back now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. And then eventually, it's still there, actually. You can still hear it. <laughs> okay, so helium goes pretty quick, right? So my voice is super high. And like, if you hold it, you can hold it in your lungs to squeeze out just a little bit more of the helium. But then it goes pretty quick. Oh, Like, I'm right. back to my voice. Yeah. It's because helium is so light that it comes out of your lungs so easily. It's so easy for your lungs to push the helium back out, whereas sulfur hexafluoride is so dense it's gonna be a little bit harder to do that. So you can like, you can hold it and use it for a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll explain how it works. So I think this is the most fascinating part, but yeah. In a beatbox with sulfur hexafluoride. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, that thing at the end is like really gnarly, like the, that. Dang. Wow. Wow. That is insane. Oh my god. Ah, my laugh is so evil. What the heck? No way. It's crazy because it's like, it's not edited. It's like, dang. Here's how it works, which is like, it's actually very similar to how just how air works, right? So yeah. what's happening is as your vocal cords are going like this back and forth, they're creating vibrations in the air. Sure. It's no different with sulfur hexafluoride. The difference is, is that gases operate almost exactly opposite of solids. So solids, the more dense the item, the faster sound travels through it. In okay. gases, the more dense the gases, the slower that sound travels through it. And that's, oh. that's because it okay. requires more energy for the, the actual like vibration, the wave to go through that medium. You can also feel how dense it is, like you were saying. Like it, the balloon feels really heavy. Yeah, like if you can hear, like, like it even has like a deeper sound to it when you hit it. Or my, yeah. yeah, like it feels heavier. And you'll notice that the balloon actually, like, if you hold it just like this, right, the balloon, this balloon sinks. However, helium rises. So like if I put oh, yeah. the balloon like down, can... right, like this, whoop, it goes up. But if you hold sulfur hexafluoride, fluoride, it's denser than air, so it Yeah, drops, it keeps fighting me. Like it drops works. down. Yeah. It's just heavier, so that's why. That's why, like when you put a, you know, you put a helium in a balloon, it floats up into the sky. If you right. were to tie that off, it would just fall to the ground. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead, rock and roll the sulfur explorer. I feel like I need like a. Look, I am your feather. <laughs> <laughs> May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> the encouragement here too is like this, right? So like, I'm just gonna take a little bit, right? Like, I'm just gonna hold it. And most people want to talk like this, like really, like it, they're not pushing really hard. But I would suggest if you take when you take it in. To talk much louder than you normally would, because you really have to push so freaking hard. <laughs> To get it all out. I can see it coming out you of your can. mouth. You can, you can actually see it, the gas escaping out of your lungs. Oh so my like, God, it is so yes. cool. So, but in order to do that, like I'm starting to feel like a little lightheaded, right? Because I'm just like pushing so hard. But that's like how you get the better effect. So like, instead of just being like, hey, this is how I normally talk. Like really push wow. it out. I'm going to do the minions with sulfur hexafluoride. Here we go. I want to do an experiment.
experiment. So I want to have you do the exact same line. We're gonna okay. do it with we're gonna do it with uh, helium. I'm gonna do the minions voice with helium. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great day at the science factory today. I'm so glad Nick invited me over to try sulfur hexafluoride. I couldn't have done it without him. Well, literally, because when working with this gas, you need an expert to supervise you. So don't try this at home, kids. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>